Have you been told that you have Hodgkin-Slater's disease and have a bump right at the base of the knee in the patellar tendon? And this video is going to talk about how we can help you get rid of that. But first and foremost, I just want to set the expectations straight. This is not a disease. This is simply an issue where you've overloaded the tendon, and that's why you're currently in pain and experiencing that bump at the base of the tendon. Likely you're either running, jumping, playing too many sports all at once, and also going through a growth spurt at the same time, which is why you've ended up in this situation in the first place. It's because you're putting a lot of stress to the tendon. The tendon is going through a growth or a lengthening phase, and the strength isn't able to keep up with the new length of the tendon. So if you continue to overload that tendon, you're going to continue to have the same problem over and over again, and it won't go away even when your growth spurt has stopped. Be sure to stick and watch the video all the way to the end because we're going to give you an order of operations or a manual to start addressing this issue so you can get back to the activities or the sports that you enjoy doing. The reason why you have that bump on the tendon is because you've put that tendon through an acute inflammatory stage way too many times. It's starting to lay down calcium and other nutrients to help your body try to heal itself and you're not letting it. And this is not something that is just strictly for Hodgkin sliders or the patellar tendon. This is a tendon issue. This is an acute inflammatory overload issue that has happened one too many times on a repetitive basis. This happens in other areas of the body. It's very common for Achilles tendonitis issues to end up having a bump at the base of their Achilles because they've gone through one too many acute inflammatory processes with their Achilles tendon. As a result, now they have a bump at the base of their Achilles tendon because they've been experiencing pain in an acute situation for a long period of time. The body is laying down calcium trying to heal itself, but the person or the individual is not allowing it to occur because they continue to overload that tendon. So this is not just an Hodgkin Slider's disease problem, which is why we need to stop considering this a disease because then it gives you an excuse to have a problem or an issue that is unresolvable. You need to first and foremost accept the current situation that you are in and then decide that you're going to take action to start doing something differently. You continue doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to continue to inflame that tendon over and over again. So first and foremost, you need to make the decision to start doing something differently. This goes for an Hodgkin Slaughter's diagnosis, but it also goes for any Achilles or any tendon injury. So if you are having pain that is lasting for 24 hours or more, or just constant, consistent, unrelenting pain, you simply need to start resting more. Now, if the pain at rest isn't too bad, that's when you can start thinking about doing something a little bit differently. Maybe you're trying to continue the activities that you want to play, the sports that you want to play, but when you perform them, that's when you get some lingering type of soreness. If that lingering pain or discomfort that is sharply increased lasts for more than 24 hours, then you, again, you need to start resting more, but you need to also simultaneously work on building strength and capacity of that tissue back up again. Now, if the pain doesn't linger when you perform an activity, that means you can continue doing the activity or sport that you want to do. It would still also be a good idea to build strength simultaneously, but, but if you don't have pain that lingers, then that means you can continue doing the activities or the sports that you enjoy doing for the time being. This generally is the most frustrating part of any type of tendon diagnosis, Achilles, Hodgkin Slaughters, anything of that nature. The most frustrating aspect of the issue for people is to start accepting the current phase of the healing process that somebody is in. If you are having constant, consistent, unrelenting pain, you need to rest. If you are having lingering pain after activity that lasts longer than 24 hours, you need to back off the intensity and build strength simultaneously. If you are having no lingering symptoms or that symptom increases mildly or within reason for only 24 hours and then goes back to your baseline, you can continue the activity or the sport that you enjoy doing while you simultaneously build strength. That is the most ideal situation, but in many circumstances, that isn't the current situation that people are in when they deal with pain. The first phase is the least aggressive phase, the phase that you can likely train the most frequently, perhaps even every day, to start inching the needle and building momentum in the correct direction. It's called the isometric phase. The tendon is literally not moving whatsoever. 
usually very comfortable to start, even if you have a sensitive or painful tendon, in, again, ways that we can load this tendon on a frequent basis, day in and day out, and start building momentum in the correct direction. Next up is the contraction phase. This is the phase that allows you to shorten the tendon while you strength and build hypertrophy or resiliency back into the tendon. This is usually more comfortable than the third phase, which is strength through lengthening the tendon. This lengthening of the tendon is usually where the tendon is most vulnerable and perhaps even most uncomfortable if you are sensitively dealing with a painful issue that is constant and unrelenting. So it may not be your starting point, but eventually you need to build strength through that lengthened position if you want to overcome continual perpetual pain process that you are in right now. You need to break that cycle by building resiliency in the lengthened position of the tendon. Do not rush this phase. It will take slow and gradual progression of these activities to eventually help you reach the point where you're never thinking about your tendon whatsoever again. But this is the most important phase that you can be in to help start flattening that bump out as well as, especially if you're a kid who's gone through a growth spurt, that tendon is weakest in that lengthened position simply because the tendon has gotten longer. So again, do not rush this phase, but it is the most important phase to spend quality, consistent time in. Finally, the last phase is getting back into jumping and plyometrics. This is where the tendon is contracting quicker. Think of your tendon as silly putty. If you're doing a slow, gentle pressure into that silly putty, the silly putty will gradually flatten out. But if you roll that silly putty up and hit it with a hammer, it's going to stiffen up and you're not going to make much of an impact into the silly putty. Your tendon is similar where there's a rate of force development component to that tendon quality and it needs to redevelop that consistency or speed of contraction, especially if you're trying to get back into playing sports. But if you've put your time and effort in through phases one through three, the isometric, the shortening, and the lengthening phase, this phase should be a breeze for you, helping you get back into playing sports faster. Now, if you'd like more guidance specifically with this issue where you can connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, that's what we do at Sports Rehab Expert. You can get started with our Ashkin sliders or if you have any type of painful issue, we have a program specific to you that you can find in our members area. So head on over to sportsrehabexpert.com, click on the workouts tab, check out how we can help you out there. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you have other videos that you'd like to see in the future, drop them in the comments below and we will get to it as soon as we can.